Broadcasting from the Keep Moving Forward Creator Studio, it's time for the CrossFit Paragon Podcast. Tune in each month as we spotlight one of our unbeatable athletes who have helped to make our box what it is today. Now, here's your host. Hi, everyone, and welcome to this month's installment of the CrossFit Paragon Members Podcast. I'm your host, Katie Galley. Today in the Keep Moving Forward Creator Studio, I have with me one of the very first Paragon members, Rob Venturi. How are you doing, Rob? Good, thanks. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and sharing your story with us today. Uh, My pleasure. So, Rob, um, just to kind of get a little bit of background on you, I wonder, how did you first get involved with the sport of CrossFit? Uh, The one and only Nate Taylor. (laughs) Um, Yep, that's it. How did you uh, meet Nate? I mean, how did he get you involved with CrossFit? Well, uh, I've I've known Nate for twenty plus years. Wow. Uh, I I got to know him through uh, his personal training days, um, and from there um, we reconnected when I'm when we moved back to the city. Uh, a lot of t- long time ago when he had his own personal training gym in Sandy Springs uh, called Evolution. Mm. And it was during that time where I had, uh, he was, we were, he was training me and, and it was at that time that he uh, found CrossFit himself and he started to uh, install or sort of kind of infuse it into the gym uh, and to use me as his proverbial guinea pig. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So as he discovered CrossFit, he started to introduce it in the training. And so um, when you first got exposed to that type of training, those type of workouts, did you immediately take to them? Did you immediately like them? Or did it take you a while to uh, get used to the, the that style of workout? No, I, I loved it. Uh, it was it was totally different than what we had stand, what we had come used to doing which was very programmed sort of kind of uh i wouldn't say it was methodical i think nate was creative enough when he was doing personal training to understand that there was some constantly varied mythologies to what he was trying to do but at the end of the day it was still uh, a lot of you know barbell work, not as much gymnastics, uh, and and from a cardiovascular standpoint, it was it wasn't as it wasn't as intermixed as it, as CrossFit is. And so, yeah, I loved it. I loved the part that it was it, it mixed all those different um, aspects. But the the best part was that it was uh, it was different every day, mm-hmm. and the fact that it was constantly varied. Um, your your body just respond. My body responded to it like it, it hadn't. Re- it, like the first time I started personal training, so many years prior to it, it, it just responded instantaneously. Yeah, and I mean that is really cool that you immediately kind of took to it. You just liked it. Um, there was something about that type of training, um, and then trusting Nate too. I mean, when he started to bring it into that initial Sandy Springs gym, and so um, once that was starting to be implemented, that that CrossFit style of workout. Um, you said you guys initially started in Sandy Springs. So what brought you to the location that we are in today? And did you um, immediately come um, come from the Sandy Springs location to the Shambly location we're in, or um, you? you mentioned that you had moved back to the city. Was that in that period of time? Well, we, we moved back. Um, we moved back, I think probably in 2006, I found me probably around 2007 or eight. And, uh, that was when he was over, you know, sort of right in the heart of, of Sandy Springs. He made a big leap of faith on his own part because, uh, he drank, the proverbial CrossFit Kool-Aid, and <laughs> he he switched. He basically made a huge gamble at a very interesting time in the world where he he shut down and transitioned his lucrative personal training gym and went strictly CrossFit. And in doing so, um, he moved spaces. He moved into the bottom of a of a of an office building in a in a space. I think that's probably a shoot like an eighth of the size of, of where we are now. I mean, it's probably 
probably as big as his office and the the, the ladies' uh, locker room. Um, wow! And and that was over at uh, Carpenter Drive, so closer to two eighty five. And I just followed him there, and uh, followed him again when he moved to uh, where he is today. So. Man, so you've been in it for the long haul. I mean, since the beginning, you were just going to keep following Nate. Yeah, I, uh, they're, uh, they're Nate's family and, and, uh, and always has been and always will be. And, and um, if he moved, uh, if he moved again. And, uh, I mean, it's been, conv- it's been fortunately very convenient for me, both coming and going as far as where it's located and where he's chosen to go. But even if he was uh, somewhere else, you know, I'd still... I'd still go where Nate is just because um, it's because it is. It is what it is, and it's Nate, and, and there, isn't, there isn't anyone else I'd rather work with. So. <laughs> that, I mean, that's great. That really is an amazing thing that you found that in someone that you trust as a coach and a trainer, but also as a friend and a person that you've just chosen to walk through life with too. And so clearly Nate has been a huge influence on your CrossFit journey and um, you know, staying with Paragon or just following Nate in the different locations that he's developed and especially now too where we're at um, the current Paragon location. Um, but Rob, is there maybe um, maybe a story that stands out to you with your experiences with Nate or community members um, at the different locations that he's been at or the, the current Paragon location that really serves as a reminder as to why you keep coming back? a great question um and I, I guess i i really haven't i really haven't thought about it um i think the biggest thing for me and i think it, it uh, i think uh crossfit is more than just a place for me to exercise and to do that to, to get you know a physical exertion or, or whatnot it's uh, without CrossFit, there, uh, uh, let's put it this way, I would have gone to some really deep, dark places. And um, the the thing I really have enjoyed about CrossFit, and, and in particular about what Nate has curated there, is the sense of community uh, and the sense that when you're there, uh, everybody is, open everyone's accepting to you it's the it's the process with which you do a workout together and suffer through um a workout regardless of your skill level that creates a bond that is truly uh like nothing else really um and everybody at the end of the day is accepting of you whoever you are what you are what your skill level is because there's a level of appreciation that you, you took the time and effort to do it. And uh, I think that speaks volumes for you as an individual and how you approach the rest of your life and your day. And so I think that's sort of been my, 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 my sort of larger story. Uh, it, it's, it's um, CrossFit is like a home away from home. Uh, I, I can be whoever I want to be there and, and people, there's no judgment. There's no, none of that crap that, uh, one might have to contend with during a normal day. Mm-hmm. You're so right. And I, I love that. I love the way you put it, that it's your home away from home. Um, it's the place that you get to go to the place that you choose to go to as a release. And you found a, such a great community there. Um, but then you're right. There's something about suffering through a workout and going through something with these people, um, with this community, these friends that you've made. Um, it's that, it creates that unique bond. And then, like you said, too, it transcended into your everyday life in a way that you didn't really or maybe didn't occur to you in the beginning when you were first getting involved. But now realizing the this the positive impact that it's had on you outside of the gym. Yeah, I, I, I think it, it does. But I also think that that. It, it wouldn't be that if it wasn't for, uh, for Nate and for, um, you know, all, all the different types of people, uh, from Miriam to all the different trainers from you to all the trainers that Nate has, um, touched or connected with or who've come through the doors and, and left a mark on that place. Uh, it's, it's, uh, 
it all starts with Nate making the place what it is. Um, you know, Nate's uh, got a huge, charismatic, larger-than-life personality, and, and that's infectious. And it, uh, you know, he makes you feel uh, welcome. He makes you feel at home and at ease. And it, it, it's, it goes a long way to making you feel that you're part of something bigger. And I think for a lot of people, just that alone um, is important because I know for me that even if I have one of the most unproductive days on the face of this earth, if I come to CrossFit and do the wad or do the workout at the end of it, I have a sense, something of a sense of accomplishment that I've done something positive during the day. And so that, that's, I, I think that's important. I love that. I really love that perspective. Um, no matter what you come into the gym with, um, the struggles, the hardship, anything that happened throughout the day, um, you can leave it at the door. You can even bring it in with you, but then you can just sweat it out and um, be around people that you you love and you've chosen to be around. And you're right. It does start with Nate, how he shaped this community. And I mean, it's a testament to the fact that you followed him from all his different locations um, and then what he's built today um, with all of the people um, that we get to be, you know, share life with, work out with and do so much more with. Um, but it's just, it's it's amazing to see that that journey. And I, I mean, I, I love being able to, to witness that. That. And so, Rob, for you, um, looking more um, inwardly um, and focusing on your own personal fitness journey um, as it relates to Paragon or, or outside of it, too, um, what would you say is a current fitness goal that you would like to achieve and why? My current fitness goal? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think um, my current fitness goal is 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 really I, i'm not training for anything in particular i'm not training for events or anything else right. what i think i i have i have chosen to do or what i'd like to do is to uh to utilize the the fitness that i've accomplished during my years at paragon and use it for other things to expose myself to other aspects of fitness that I've overlooked or ignored, uh, you know, swimming, you know, uh, running, um, you know, going back and playing, you know, sports uh, that I stopped playing before because I was just focused on doing CrossFit, uh, you know, and, 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 and life in general as far as fitness, you know, with my health and, and what I'm eating, you know, tracking my, you know, getting better, better self care. Uh, that, that's sort of my overall goal is, is I guess is, is better overall fitness and self care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, it, it makes sense. You don't have to have a, a very specific, um, you know, fitness goal, but it's true. I mean, it can, apply to um, anything that you want to achieve like you're saying maybe just things that you've overlooked or haven't thought of um, thought of yet but it's just being that constant state of preparedness so that no matter what comes up or what you might choose to do um, or go after that you're actually already prepared for it um, before it even begins yeah I, I, I think before when we were when Nate was uh, being introduced to CrossFit himself uh, and, and introducing you know the you know, uh, me and, uh, and the, and the early folks to it, there was just an over, uh, sense of, of enthusiasm and excitement. There wasn't as much, uh, uh, of a thought and, and planning towards how to approach it from not just the micro perspective, but from a macro perspective, uh, when it comes to the, the planning into what a class is, how, how the theme of the class needs to go, the message that needs to be sent, how that message applies to you personally, but to you, uh, to your day, to your week, to whatever state you are in your life. I think that's sort of uh, the, the, the evolution of, of where Nate's gone, but also for me personally, I think that's where my fitness in, in this CrossFit path has, has, has taken me to a, to a broader sense of, of, of well-being. 
Yeah, I mean, that's really cool, too, that you can reflect back on that, see where you started and where you guys began um, learning about CrossFit and you wanting to um, be a part of that. Um, and then looking back now, some a couple years later, and reflecting on how you've grown as an athlete, grown as a person, how the programming has grown, um, and just how the gym has been shaped in, in different ways because of that. Well, Rob, thank you really so much um, for taking the time to be a part of this show. Um it really does mean a lot. I love I love talking to everybody, um, just kind of how their own CrossFit journeys began. Um, and, you know, of course, I love Paragon and specifically with, um, with you know, how Paragon comes into play. And it's amazing, too, that you, you started from the very, very beginning and you followed Nate um, no matter what. It just really does. Um, it's a testament to him and what he's built and the fact that incredible people like yourself keep coming around and making the place what it is. Um, so really, thank you so much. Uh, of course, there isn't anything that Nate wouldn't do for any of the members in the gym, and, and I think that's, uh, that's an important part of, of the community he wants to create. Thank you all for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to follow us at CrossFitParagon.com, on Facebook, and on Instagram. Here at Paragon, we are so grateful for the incredible individuals who comprise our community and who allow us the opportunity to try and change the world for the better. One athlete, one workout at a time. See you next month.